Welcome everyone. In order to record phone calls in Google Pixel 7, we will need to use a third party app. So open up the Play Store and you're gonna search up for this app right here. Call Recorder hyphen Cube ACR. This app is completely free to download from Google Play. Do keep in mind that you know the consent laws exist in some countries and states. So if you have a two-party consent law and you know you're recording without someone's consent, that is illegal. But if you have one party consent, doesn't matter. So once you have downloaded the app, we're gonna open it up. And from here, you're gonna tap on next. You will need to allow all of these permissions in order for the calls to record. So you're gonna tap on grant permissions while recording audio, while using the app. Access your contacts, allow. Make and manage phone calls, allow. Access photos, audio, allow. From here, we need to enable the app connector. So you're gonna tap on enable app connector. You're then going to want to find where it says downloaded apps. Tap on this app and then tap on the toggle and then tap on allow. Once you've done this, it's going to ask to send you notifications. You don't really need it, but I'm just going to select not allow. Then we need to disable the battery optimization so that the phone recording doesn't cut out. So we're going to select OK, got it, and then allow. From here, geotagging. This is used if you want the location of your phone calls to be recorded. I'm going to select no thanks. Now it asks for premium, you don't need to use the premium, so just tap on the X, and we can now use the free version. But of course, it does have ads, so just keep that in mind. So now we're gonna tap on phone, and we need to call someone up. So going back into the Cube Recorder app, you will see the recordings right here, okay? Uh, you do have recording settings, if you would like to change these here as well. For the most part, you don't really need to change any of them. Maybe the excluded callers list, you may want to change. So let's start a call. I'm gonna to go to this here, this Apple store. And I'm gonna tap on call. So everything is gonna be recorded. Thanks for calling. So Apple I'm speaking, to you're gonna hear the blah, blah, blah. So I'm just gonna hang out because I can't hear myself. So the person who was speaking, recorded. You speaking, recorded. So let's go back to, to the CubeACR app. And you can see the recording here. Let's tap on the recording and then play. Thanks for calling Apple Watson. So you can hear both people speaking but the issue in this case is you're struggling to hear me speak. And the reason why is because I set the Apple's voice too loudly. So just keep in mind, if you're having issues where you can't actually hear yourself, click on the volume button once, then the triple dot, and then you can change the call volume here, okay? So you can change that around. So in that case, I mean, the Apple was too loud, so we're gonna change the call volume a little bit lower. We're gonna try again. And it's gonna cool. Let's hope it's gonna cool. Uh, have they blocked me? <laughs> I don't even know. Let's try a different Apple, like so. Weirdly enough, it's not doing the cool. But you get you get the gist, okay? I know what's happened here. Uh, I believe it's just low signal. Um, so you reduce the call volume. Also, do keep in mind that if you use speaker mode, it's harder as well uh, for your audio to be captured. So it's best to be in handset mode. You know when you're, you know, the audio is next to your head, and then you should have the best results. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.